Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. This is Laboratory Investigation 5, Onion Root Tip Mitosis Lab. All right, so here's the introduction. The purpose of this lab is to calculate the relative amount of time that onion root tip cells spend in the phases of mitosis. If you're wondering, what the heck, why onion root tip cells? Well, you have these meristems, meristematic tissue in plants, whether it's um, the apical meristems at the top and the bottom, or the lateral meristems that widen plants. Those are the more actively dividing tissues. They're going through uh, more mitosis events per day. Um, so if we want to see a lot more mitosis, we're going to look at those regions. If we were looking at other parts of the plant, um, like right in the middle of a leaf, you wouldn't see as much mitosis. Uh, so looking at this area in the onion root tip, where you can find the root apical meristem, you're going to see a lot of mitosis. Materials. Preserved onion root tips in microscope slides stain for visibility. As a teacher, that's my favorite thing to do. It's just easy. Um, they're reliable. You know they're going to be, you know, visible to students if they know how to use a microscope. Um, other teachers, I've actually seen, um, you know, them making young onions um, have root growth uh, and then making cross sections themselves, uh, mounting those tissues on the slide and staining. Uh, that takes a lot more work. Uh, I guess it would be more rewarding if you do it correctly, but uh, I tend to go with the preserved uh, onion root tips uh, that have been there for years. And you need a compound light microscope that can go to times 400 magnification. So you can get around this close. Time required, about 45 minutes. And um, if you use your time wisely, that's, that's really all you need. All right, part one. So mount the slide, um, you know, actually get it there. Uh, if, you, if you're, you know, using slices from an actual onion root tip that's live or uh, get the preserved slide, put it on the stage and zoom into the root apical meristem. Um, so the apical meristems, there's the shoot apical meristem and there's the root apical meristem. We're looking at the one at the bottom. So here's uh, what you would see when you're actually around uh, times 100, uh, times 40, that first view through the objective lens, you'd be a little more zoomed out. But here is what's known as the root cap. This is what you don't want to zoom into. You don't want to zoom into that area, okay? Uh, that's more of a protective cap. It's not actively dividing. You want to zoom into the area up here. Uh, and there's actually multiple regions, multiple views in these areas that are going to have some active mitosis. If you look very carefully on the slide, you can see um, some phases of mitosis. And actually, later on in this lesson, um, when we zoom in times 400, it's much more visible. So you're going to zoom in until you get to that times 400 um, magnification. That's where you have the appropriate view. You're, you're close enough to really see those phases of mitosis. And they're going to actually count all the phases. So count the cells that are in each phase. Interphase, um, the cells in interphase kind of look like plain old cells. Uh, they just have a solid nucleus with the visible nucleolus. Um, you're in interphase, you're between uh, mitotic divisions, so you don't have those visible chromosomes. Prophase is when you have the visible chromosomes, uh, you can see them condensed, kind of still in that nuclear area. They're kind of still bundled together in the center. Metaphase, they're, they're lined up along the equator, the metaphase plate. Anaphase, where they're being pulled apart. And telophase, where you would have those groups of chromosomes towards the poles of the cells uh, about to be bundled up into new nuclei. And you're going to record your results along with the total number of cells that you actually counted. 